Well, sometimes you just, you kind of got stuff left over from everywhere, from projects and whatnot. And then you got to reset and clean everything up. So that's what I'm doing. Well, welcome back to another episode. Another episode. I'm not telling you. Yeah, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. So on today's episode, I'm going to go through some behind the scenes stuff that, uh, YouTube, that uh, I do prepping, getting ready for working on a project, including some of the filming stuff. Um, did a live last week, seemed to get mixed reviews, responses, some questions, so figured why not? Why not record some other stuff kind of while I'm doing stuff and have another break wall stuff like I always do. Cue the intro. Here is the garage. I've already gone through and put some stuff away, cleaned it up, swept it up. I don't have a lot of room. I do, but I don't. So what kind of temperature we got going on right here? That's just a, uh, so I know what temp's going on. Heater's been going. And we're just cleaning stuff up. And you probably have noticed a lot of this stuff in the background, but I haven't really gone through and explained it. And kind of how I utilize it to my advantage on doing stuff. So the main thing I got going on here. I have just a uh, two-stall garage attached to the house. That's all I work in. Fortunately, it's pretty big. It's more room than some people have. I'm pretty damn fortunate for it, to be honest. I always keep the Impala in here. And Angus obviously is in here because Angus is doing things that he's in timeout. So, when I want to work on something, I have to pull the Impala outside, pull the new one in, let it defrost or whatever I got to do, and work on it. Um, up in this corner up here, I have the cab that you guys have seen me work on on bits and pieces. So, that's kind of nice to have in here. Um, I do have it on, like, makeshift dolly. I think I made a video about that pulling off the trailer. It's in the playlist. Anyways... It's on casters, kind of like a cart. I can just push it forward, backwards, work on it. Again, I just pull the Impala out and move that to where I need to and work on it. So, what I do when I'm prepping for videos, like today, I'm going through and I'm cleaning up my mess that I had from the last video, which was the Trailblazer. We did all that stuff on there. Of course, I got the boxes laying there. I got all the tools from my cart laying right there that I've used. I put some stuff away, started cleaning up the bench. I've swept and whatnot around, but I kind of, I like keeping stuff clean and organized. I know where it's going. It kind of, it maps it in my brain is where it's in, in the garage. And if I have it, I have it. And if I don't, I get mad. I lose production time. I'm getting stuff done. And of course, with our limited time that we have to do stuff, I, it's it's not not always fun. So... To me, there is value in keeping stuff clean and organized and just neat and tidy. A lot of the times what happens is these, my desk and the shelf here just collects, you know, parts and pieces. And there's the push rods from when we did them in Angus. Trouble light, some hoses, you know, just it collects stuff. The workbench was the same way. And of course, my box like that is there too. But... I try to put stuff on the pegboard, get it nice and organized so I know, hey, I need some bisque, I can go get them. I have my big shelf full of cleaning utensils and brake clean and all that stuff is up there. I'm trying to put all the little trinkets into little keep bins so they're there. My drawers have got, you know, nuts and bolts because that's what I got. But it still, it takes a lot of time and it's, you know, as you can see, it's a lot of clutter. Um, this side of Angus, we got lawn care stuff. I got finished putting that up. You know, my YouTube TV, when I'm bored out here watching stuff, I have that just out here because it's nice or listen to some music. But, you know, that even isn't organized yet how I want it to be. So it takes time. It takes a lot of time. So with that, when I have stuff set up, 
filming takes a lot more time than if I were just to go blast through it, which just one can expect. So recently, for some filming equipment, you guys might have noticed some of my uh, shots are a little bit nicer and whatnot. I had this I bought from Goodwill, and it didn't have this top piece on it. So I took a piece of PVC and learned that from the boy. And my phone, you know, fits right in that, and that's the view that you guys get right here on a lot of my shots from sitting in there. Uh, other thing I do have recently for when I go storm chasing, as I mentioned in the Trailblazer videos, I got this guy, which ironically enough is supposed to fit on that, but I'm going to put this huh, in the dash, I think, when I storm chase. For other equipment, like I mentioned, I just use iPhones. This is my old iPhone recording off of, uh, I think I got a 13 that I use for everything else. Then I recently picked up this wireless mic, so hopefully I can get some more better quality audio on some stuff. So it's, you know, if I'm like over the backside of the Impala, but you guys are like right here, you can actually hear what I'm saying versus being quiet, you know. So that is kind of the equipment setup that I use. Um, now for working on projects, I, I just kind of, I've been honestly working on stuff that I know I need to get done. Like the Impala, when we got that ready going for power tour, it's like, okay, checklist, boom, 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 knock it out. Cool. Make videos while I'm doing it. Now that there's no power tour, there's really nothing going on. My next one I want to focus on is we're going to be pulling the motor out of that. So we're going to be pulling a motor out of that, which I, spoiler alert, I got a lifter locked up and it's clacking off the cam. That's why that thing is, is what it is. So there's a little spoiler alert for you. But anyways, that's coming up. But to prep for it, we got a lot of stuff we got to do. Whoa. Do you like that camera angle? Yeah. And what I mean by prepping for that is obviously the motor is going to come apart. So we got to find a place to house all of our stuff. Um, I'm not going to take the front dress off. I'm just going to pull the intake off, pull the coils maybe off, valve covers. And we're just going to unbolt this thing. I think I'm going to leave the transmission in and we're just going to pull it out. Well, all this front end stuff is going to have to come off. Um, but my cherry picker is hiding back here because I don't want to leave it outside because it's, of course, winter. So we'll have to get that prepped, get that moved over here. So I'm not wasting time trying to film and pull stuff out because I want to just, when I start a project, I like just going after it and getting it done versus, oh, I got to go here and then we bolt, unbolt this and then we pause and then it's six hours later and I finally got it all organized to do another 15 minute worth of work and filming and everything else. So organizing prepping it's all good you can see angus is obviously loaded up with a bunch of stuff i got some new shop lights i've been throwing up in the here to make things a little bit brighter i got those stage in there i got all the insulation carpet and everything that is going to go in him stage in here on the seat and then the back's got obviously some some old tires those are the old impala tires you know hey why i got hay back here just so i can say hey i don't know but anyways, that's, um, you know, you got you to gotta find home for all your stuff. You got shelves and everything else. Because quite honestly, let me show you outside right now. I do have stuff staged outside, but, you know, it's, um, it's, it's uh, well, it's winter. It's cold. I got car parts here. Let's work on all my old car parts. But. I don't like keeping my parts outside if I can avoid it. So, you know, that seat wouldn't do very well out in the elements. These nice fenders for Bert, they wouldn't do well out in the elements, even though Bert's probably not doing well out in the elements. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is I like to keep stuff inside, but with my limited space, nooks and crannies and everything, stuff gets just jammed, you know, like up here. So, just some kind of things that take into consideration when you're we're doing it. Um, but back to Angus, you know, I got to get the cherry picker staged somewhere in this area. I'm going to get all my tools ready to, you know, pop on my cart here that I know that I'm going to need to get that on. Make sure my batteries are all charged up for my impact to knock that out. Got the engine stand on the front of uh, bits and pieces right now that we're going to put the LS on. And my plan is 
I'm going to find another one and throw in here. And then at some point, we're going to tear this one down and actually see what that uh, lifter stuckage is. Pull it out. Probably pull the cam out. Go from there. But, yeah, I mean, it's just it's a job. It's a second job within a job. So, something to consider if you guys are getting into YouTube. Another upcoming video. We got to get into bits and pieces here and fix all that rust, as mentioned. Of course... Stuff staged for, yeah, nice breaker bar, but stuff staged in there, and that'll obviously have to come out. So, I mean, it's going to be a lot of move this over here, put it off camera so I can work on this in this little spot, and then, you know, when I'm done, put it all back together. You know, that's, that's just how it goes. But for today, that's going to do it. Just a quick little rundown. If you guys get into YouTube, I got to start cleaning. I got stuff to, well, the shelves are pretty decent. But I got to finish cleaning up and get ready to get Angus ready to go because that's going to be on my agenda for tomorrow. So look forward to that video coming out here very soon. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Like, share, comment. Check it out. Uh, I did now. I do have a Twitter, i995 PalSS on Twitters. So that's me. Go over there, check it out. Follow me. I'm going to try to, you know, do everything on all the platforms that I can. Get the exposures out. So thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you next time.